Good morning, guys, and thank you for joining me for another What I Eat in a Day as a Vegan on Slimming World. If you're new, my name's Leanne, it's nice to meet you. And if you're coming back, as always, thanks ever so much for doing so. Today is Wednesday, and as you can probably hear from my voice, I think my lurgy has kind of come back full force. I feel horrible. Um, I'm, I am working, but like, oh my God, I feel rough. I just want to get back to bed. Um, but I don't think it's going to happen today, so, oh well. Um, Sewing World tonight, and, um, and I have work to do, so I'm not sure how much of group I'll be able to stay for. I'm fairly determined to go and weigh in. Um, but we'll see um, how the day goes. So I'm just currently having my first coffee of the day with just 50 mils of Alpro Almond Barista, for one sit, uh, half a sin, sorry. Um, and yeah, I'll update you when I eat something. Hey guys, so I'm actually feeling crap. <laughs> I'm really tired and um, I've not eaten anything yet. It's lunchtime now and I'm just gonna make a super easy lunch that I like to make quite often. Um, although I am gonna change how I make this going forward after today, um, but um, I'll just show you how I do today. So you may recognise this if you watched Monday's video because I did only have it last on Monday. But this is something that I always keep in the cupboard, which is these Itsu udon noodles. And um, this is vegan sesame chicken. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. And um, they come with these little pack of noodles, which is like, these are like the ones that you get in the supermarket, like straight to what? type noodles and then a little sachet of dried spring onions and a little sachet of um, broth paste so oh and that would be the microwave <laughs> that would be the microwave telling me my veggies are done so all you do is you just open all these things put them in here and fill up with water to there and then um, to make it into like a, a meal, I like to add just a steam bag of vegetables, which, um, and I think, to be honest, this is such a good shortcut. This is four and a half sins, this particular pot. Um, I'm actually gonna be changing to the rice noodle pots. This is the last one I've got in the cupboard. Um, I'm gonna change to the rice noodle pots after this. I had an unfortunate experience the other day with one of these packets <laughs> um, and there's nothing wrong with them. It's just put me off for a little bit. So I'm gonna eat this one and I'm like, and the, and I had the one on Monday as well. Um, but yeah, I just kind of, <laughs> I almost wanna get them out of the way because um, I just had, uh, yeah, I had a, I had an unfortunate experience. There's nothing, you know, not, not the people's fault. It's, you know, occasionally, things are bad but um yeah anyway <laughs> let's not go there <coughs> so um yeah I'll switch to rice noodle ones for a while after this but but these are really good so don't don't let me put you off <laughs> so that's the noodles and the spring onions and then this is the broth so this is where the sins come in because as you can see it's quite oily but this is what makes it taste really good um and also what sets it apart from like what I think of as the like unhealthy noodle pot things like pot noodles, for example. Um, those ones are wheat noodles, um, which these are as well, I think. Um, but those ones are like dried and fried. So um, they're, they're just not very healthy. And obviously they've got um, a lot of preservatives in like the powder, cause it's a powder and stuff. Whereas this is just a nice paste. Um, I just uh, like, I don't know if they actually are healthy. I just feel like these are made with like more real ingredients, you know? So this is my preference. Um, anyway, we just pop the water in. I always do it to very slightly below the fill line because I like it a little bit stronger. And then you just fold the cover over just to let the noodles heat through. In the meantime, of sorry, my voice is really going, sorry. In the meantime, of course, um, you've heard my uh, microwave going and um, this is the veggie pack that I'm using today. This one has green beans, tender stem broccoli and baby corn. Um, these types of pack are like the best ones in my opinion. Um, again, in Tesco, they do a very similar pack, but I think it has carrots in it as well. Or there's one with like sugar snaps in it as well. Um, 
but yeah these go really really nice so just cook it like in the microwave as per the instructions and then I just add it in <laughs> okay so when it's done you take the lid off give it a stir and it's really good I've said it many times before I wish you guys had smell a vision so you could um smell because this is really good to be fair anyway all I do is then just pop the veggies on top and uh, that's it I'm not going to do that actually with one hand <laughs> it's going to go everywhere <laughs> but yeah that is uh, that that's my lunch four and a half sins wow that's a bright light oh my god my voice <laughs> hi guys so okay what happened today was so I normally work like eight till four thirty from home um but you know, normal hours, and then I do overtime as well, because I work in IT. And you know, systems have to be done things out of hours. Anyway, so that's why I quite often do overtime. So, obviously I spoke to you at lunchtime, and then, obviously I've said that, how, like, that I'm not feeling great, <laughs> I'm really not. And then, um, uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, I feel horrible. Um, I had my B12 injection at like 10 to four. So I had to obviously nip out for that. Then I had Slimming World at half past five. And then I had my work overtime to do starting by seven o'clock to be online before that. And um, basically after I got back from my B12, I only had like 20 minutes of work left and I was shattered. And I thought, I'm just gonna have a little lie down. Well, I fell asleep, I slept through swimming well, <laughs> or at least the beginning of it, and then wake up at like half a six. And then, um, oh, I've gone really cold. And then um, uh, did my work. So that took me up to like eight o'clock. And then I was like, do you know what? I really want a change of scenery and like some fresh air. So, um, very unlike me um well it's not really is it is like me it's just that recently it's not like me you know because i just don't want to be in public um but by eight o'clock um i was like i really want to i really fancy like a walk outside but the problem is like like i've been walking on my treadmill inside to try and at least you know be able to have some movement without um having to go out in public so giving myself you know an option um and but I was like I really want some fresh air and I really fancy going up to the canal like I used to do so I thought you know what the sun was starting to just not go down but like it was just coming into very early dusk and um like it's been raining today so it was like really quite fresh outside and I was like do you know what this is perfect it's like I don't want to go out and it's too hot I don't want to get like feel sweaty and embarrassed because I'm all covered up and I'll get so hot, you know, like I just can't. So, but it was perfect, conditions were perfect. So I called mum and I said, can you come with me? And we went and had a little walk up at the canal. So let me just show you. Hi guys. So me and mum have just come for a little walk at my behest, I was feeling brave. And we are at the canal, as you can see. And unfortunately, my phone isn't picking up quite how nice the light is. Mind out, mother. Sorry. But <laughs> you can be on camera if you want. <laughs> but it is lovely and peaceful. And um, this is delightful. So I just wanted to share. Look, guys. Ducky news. Oh. Work, work. <laughs> So as you can see, it was gorgeous. Now I'm not gonna lie and say that we did loads of walking or that it was vigorous, but the point was I got out and I was, I felt really good, but shattered afterwards. Like obviously I'm very low on energy anyway. Like I'm feeling quite rubbish. And um, I, uh, yeah, I just, I was so tired by the time I got back. So like I've been let down on my bed for like the last two hours, no, not two hours, hour and a half. And my stomach is rumbling because of course, I just had my noodles and vegetables earlier. The thing is, it's a bit late now to have like a proper dinner. I was gonna have like some stir fry veg in that, 
I can't be bothered with all that because I just I just need something. So I'm gonna make myself a toasty. Um, I'm gonna be a bit naughty. Um, so, oh God, I've got real cold shivers. This is how I know I'm not quite right. <laughs> like I know I'm always cold, but like this is different. Like I know the difference. Um, I'm gonna put a warmer top on in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna use that sourdough because I didn't give it to mum in the end, I forgot. So I'm gonna use some more of that sourdough that I had the other day, the sun-dried tomato and herb one, it's really nice, but technically it's not a healthy extra B, but I'm gonna call one slice of it healthy extra B. And then the other slice is seven sins, so that is in the app. So that's cool. And then I'm gonna have tomatoes and uh, vegan cheese um, from my healthy extra A choices. So the sins will be the other slice of bread, basically. I know it's cheating a little bit to call it healthy extra B. And to be honest, actually, I think I could probably just say it sins anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference either way. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's the bread, and um, I don't really like it to be like dripping out cheese. Oh, look, there's two bits there. So I always try and cut it like quite thin because I just like just a little bit of like flavor and a little bit of like the goo, <laughs> you know? Um, because that's what feels treaty about it, but like too much, and it's a bit overwhelming, especially with vegan cheese. I mean, Honestly, it's uh, very nearly my 11 year vegan anniversary, vegan anniversary. Um, so I, I can't say as I particularly remember um, the texture of cheese or anything like that, but and the thought of it is it's not a nice one now, even though I used to love it. But yeah, so there we go. I mean, you can probably see that's like a really good thin one. This one's a bit thick, so whatever. <laughs> Um, and then I've got, where's my tomatoes gone? I've got these nice little tomatoes. Um, same as I had yesterday. And then I just kind of squidge them on and I'll put a little bit of cheese on top as well. Um, and that'll take me up, well, not quite 60 grams, but, and then I'll put that on top and that helps the cheese on both sides stick to it, you see. I feel like I could have done my tomatoes a bit smaller, but whatever. So what I like to do is, because I really don't want to add too much extra cheese, but I do want them to stick. So what I do, that's my last piece, is just put it like on top because that's the important bits. <laughs> there we go, perfect. And then, that's already kind of started because I've got the pan on now. So then, so we'll bounce that on top. This bread is actually frozen, so it'll take a bit longer. Oh God, I'm stuck already, oh no. Oh no, guys, <laughs> ah, there we go. Just balance it against my stomach, that's fine. <laughs> so this um, is my pan that's like lost its non-stick in the middle. So this might get a little bit messy, but it doesn't really matter. The key thing is just to like press it down and um, let it cook. Um, Probably shouldn't have it on highest. I'll probably turn it down in a minute because it will. It's better if you let them cook like a little bit longer and slower. If you know what I mean, like a little bit less heat and cook for a bit longer. So there we go. <laughs> I mean, okay, it doesn't look that attractive. <laughs> I tried squidging it down. I had to get a small plate out. <laughs> um, but anyway. That's fine. I'm sure it'll be lovely. That awkward moment when you take a photo of yourself <laughs> instead of a video. Um, I'm done in guys and uh, that toasty was really nice. Um, I'm just gonna show you my food diary and get back. Okay, um, I do keep sneezing, so I do apologize uh, for rushing through this, but hey ho, um, please appreciate my Alice in Wonderland themed page. Um, Got this nice sticker, the hurrier I go, the behinder I get. I use some stencils to do these card symbols. This is paper I cut out. That's a sticker. That's paper. That's a sticker. And that's paper. And it's just scrap of paper and it had loads of different little bits on it. So I just cut out the ones I wanted. Um, 
but they're really thick because it's scrapbook paper, whereas obviously stickers are nice and thin. Uh, anyway, this one says, I'm not crazy. My reality is just different than yours, which I like. I think that's nice. Um, okay, free foods today was just my coffee and tea. Um, and uh, I was very aware of blank space, so I drew a tiny little cup of tea. Um, I had two coffees. Um, I've written this in wrong for the sins because um, I had two cold coffees and that's my glass and there are only um, 50 mils of my Alpro Almond Barista so it was actually just 100 mils in total but either way it doesn't matter it's better to over allow than under allow. Um, lunchtime obviously I had that udon noodle pot which was four and a half sins and with that green beans tender stem and baby corn and then um, dinner obviously my sourdough slice for seven sins and also I called the other one my healthy extra bee choice I mean this doesn't make a lot of difference today because actually even if I did it in here I'm still under my uh, sins for the day so um, it could be worse um, and obviously I had tomatoes so a decent day uh, under sins uh, not very exciting food sorry but very convenient um, stuff and um, quite frankly I feel pretty rough I'm not gonna lie so um, yeah I'm uh, I'm looking forward to my bed um, I feel like this is turning into a cold <laughs> and I'm supremely unimpressed about it um, but then it might not it might just be one of those things that you know I'll wake up tomorrow and I'm all right which would be nice um, but this has been like a week now that I've not been quite right so um there we go <laughs> anyway thanks for watching i will see you guys tomorrow i appreciate you um sorry about this but i hope you enjoy looking at the canal all right guys thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't and like this video if you don't mind bye